Hello my friends and welcome to Paulina Art. Today I'm going to be painting this pretty floral with a basket and some lilacs. I was inspired to do this painting by a beautiful photo I saw on Pixabay. I'm going to link the photo below. Pixabay is a website that has thousands of beautiful photos that you can download for free or you can browse and get inspired by. This is going to be a very painterly and loose composition. It's easy to paint, but it requires a few steps and I'm going to show you all of them. I'm going to link the final painting on the description box below. I'm using my large bottles of Montmartre acrylic paint. I'm going to link below my reviews for this paint as well. If you would like to see how I created this fun and painterly floral, stay with me and let's paint together. The colors that I'm using today are titanium white, taylor green, purple, magenta, lamp black or black, and medium yellow. Today I'm working on Canson 12 by 16 acrylic paper. I normally prep this paper with some white gesso. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to go ahead and paint on it and see how it works. You can do exactly the same on canvas if you rather paint on canvas. I'm going to start by spraying some water on my surface. I want to create a very loose watercolor background. And with a round brush, I'm going to pick up some purple. I want to make it very loose and watery with lots of water. I'm going to start applying this color. And I'm also going to do the same with magenta. I just want a light wash of color and if the paint drips, that is okay. In fact, you can spray more water to make it more loose and watery. Please let me know if you would like a review of the Canson acrylic paper. And as you can see, I have some painter's tape all around the sheet of paper. This sheet of paper is still on the Canson acrylic pad. And this tape prevents the other sheets of paper to get with acrylic paint and also keeps my sheet of paper nice and stretched. It won't buckle up because it is taped. I think I'm happy with the background. I'm going to use a hair dryer to speed up the drying process. Okay, once the canvas is dry, with white chalk, I'm going to sketch the flowers. I'm going to show you every step. I'm going to measure three fingers from the bottom up. And I'm going to make a line that joins here. This is where the pot is going to be sitting. And with the same brush, I'm going to pick up some purple. And I'm going to do this area where the pot is going to be sitting. I'm just going to do horizontal strokes. And I want these lines to be loose as well. And I'm going to dry again with a hairdryer. The pot is going to be on the center of the painting, but you can do it on the side and the flowers leaning over if you prefer that. 
but because mine is going to be in the center I'm going to find the center which is right here I'm using white chalk I want the pot to be the bottom to be about this wide it's probably three inches both sides now I'm going to round it up a bit just to give the pot a more 3D effect about four and a half inches I'm coming up and I'm going to make this pot wider on this on the sides up here and I'm going to join these two points about four four inches from the center and again I'm doing a little smiley face in here just to create more volume to the pot and before I do anything I'm going to go ahead and paint this pot I'm going to be using the same round brush and I'm going to mix purple with black and white a dark purplish gray color and I'm going to paint the pot with this going to leave a space here without color just so I know where is the top of and the center of the pot I'm going to let the paint dry before I continue. Once the paint is dry, I'm going to draw a line on the center with chalk again. And then I'm going to do another one at the end here, following the shape. I'm trying to create the illusion of the fullness of the basket and here I'm going to do two same on this side if you're not happy you can always clean it up and do your lines again I am going to mix the three colors, white with black and purple, but this time I'm going to create a lighter version. And with a flat brush, just because a flat brush works easier, I find, I'm going to go over these lines. I'm going to start creating the weave of the basket. I'm going to start with the bottom. What you want to do is do one line over one of the lines we drew. You want to go over it and skip one and do the other one. And I'm trying to create a bit of a round shape.
So I went over the first one, I skipped this one, went over this one, skipped the next one, cover the following, skipped this one, and went over. So you want to skip every second one. I'm going to continue doing this, but on the second row, I'm going to cover the one that I skipped the first time. And I want to leave a line in between them, in between my first line with my second. So it should start creating the effect of the weave of the basket. And again, I'm going to cover the one that I missed on that row. This doesn't have to be perfect by any means. It's just to create the illusion of the weave. And I'm going to continue the weave of the basket like that. And as long as you keep some of the smiley face is going to give the effect. Don't make these lines straight. We want to create the illusion of fullness on the basket. we're going to do a border at the top, just a line. We know where it is because we left that space without paint, so that guides us to where the top of the basket is. And with a round brush, I can round up the size of the basket if I want to. This is going to be a loose painting, so it doesn't matter if the basket doesn't look perfect just to create the illusion of the weave i'm going to use a small liner brush now and i'm going to mix black with purple create a lighter black color and with this i can go around and give the basket more depth Just going on some of the borders. Just to emphasize the weave. This can correct some mistakes if we did.
Okay, the basket looks looks better and I was able to correct and intensify a little bit the weave. With my round brush, I'm now going to mix white with purple, just, just a drop of purple. I wanted more white than purple color like this. And I'm going to add some highlight just, just in the center of the basket to give the basket more depth. just moving my brush loosely if it leaves streaks that's even better because it gives more the effect of the weave and the material of the basket And also in these lines coming across. of course at the top here. I'm now going to add white, just plain white, but I'm going to keep the white just at the center. to be using some floating medium to create some of the leaves but I'm going to use it now to finish the basket and I'm going to use an angle brush I'm going to pick up some of the floating medium and coat the bristles and I have on the top of my brush some of the purpley black I use to create the edges of the weave and I only want it on the toe of the brush. And I'm going to do some floating on the sides of the basket. Just to create more depth on the basket, I'm, I'm going to run it on the side here. And I'm following a bit the weave. And it should look like that. And I can add some at, at the bottom as well. And I'm going to do the same at the other side. I'm going to press my brush and come down and follow the weave that I created. And because I have the blending gel, it blends it for me. I can add some in here too. I can blend it towards in towards the basket. Okay, the basket is ready. I'm going to loosely draw the flowers and the leaves. I'm going to draw the flowers first, then I know where my leaves are gonna go. And there's gonna be a lilac in here. Hanging this way. It's almost like a um, triangular shape that I'm going to draw for all of the flowers. I'm going to have one hanging down here. So my triangle is going to fall down here. I hope you can see the white chalk. There's going to be a lilac at the front. And my triangle is going to be facing this way. Like that. 
and I'm going to draw more up here. This is up to you how many lilacs you want. Just keep in mind the shape is a triangle going out the point coming down. I'm going to do another one coming this way. I'm just giving a not a straight edge to the flower, but it's basically a triangular shape. And one up here. So I have one at the bottom, and on the basket I have one, two, three, four, five flowers. Now because I know the placement of my flowers, I can start doing the leaves. I'm going to have some leaves coming down here. And the leaves of the lilac are long and pointy, something like this. It's important to pay attention to the way the leaves of the plant your painting looks like. They're a smaller triangular shape as well. I'm going to do some leaves in here. And I can do more leaves later. I just want to have a few in here to have an idea how the composition is going to look like. And I'm definitely going to add more leaves as I see I need them. So I'm going to give you a close up. Just because it's a little not as easy to see with the white chalk drawing so that you know where everything is. I'm going to get a base coat on each of the lilacs. This one is going to be magenta. So I'm going to go ahead and add a coat of magenta and I'm just dabbing my brush. I want to give the loose effect of the flowers. This one up here can be magenta as well. And I'm going with the dark color first. These two are going to be purple. So I'm going to go ahead and add the purple color. My leaf is going to be in there. There's going to be a couple of leaves in here. This one is going to be purple as well. And this one at the front, I want white. But I'm going to use a gray color with that I have mixed with white, purple, and black. So here are the five lilacs on the basket and the bottom one. The bottom one I'm going to paint. You can paint it any color you want. Um, it can be pink, purple, or white. I'm going to do it purple. And I just pat my round brush to create the base, the base coat of the flower. It's much easier for me this way. I can see where my flowers are going to be, where the leaves are going to be. I'm going to start painting the leaves now. For the leaves, I'm going to use this flat brush. And the reason I choose this size 
is because when I put it on the leaves, I can see it's just the right size to do half of my leaf. It's not too large, not too small. I'm going to pick up some floating medium. Green on one corner and yellow on the other. I'm going to blend these two colors on the brush. Make sure the bristles are covered. And I'm going to add a drop of white with the yellow, just to give the yellow more opacity and brightness. And I'm going to start drawing the stems of the leaves. So I know where my leaves are coming from. And I'm just randomly deciding where I want them. And with the brush loaded the same way, I'm going to start painting the leaves. I'm going to press with the yellow towards the outside, just to give the leaves dimension. And I'm coming to the point of the brush, because these leaves are nice and pointy. Now I'm going to move my canvas around, because it's easier for me this way, and with the colors on the opposite way, I'm going to do the other side of the leaf. I have the green now towards the outer edge. And my first leaf is done. They look very pretty when you use the colors that way. I'm going to continue doing the leaves the same way. pressing my brush and sweeping down and coming to the chisel point of the brush. Now I'm going to finish the other side the same, same way with the green towards the outside this time. And I'm going to draw the vein to go ahead of camera just so the video is not extremely long and I'm going to finish the other leaves. Okay so I've done a few of the leaves. I'm going to go back and add more once the lilacs are done. I'm going to put a second coat of paint on the lilacs. It's going to be like the first coat but a little lighter. For the pink lilacs I'm going to pick up pink and add some white. I don't want it super light just yet, but maybe a couple of shades lighter, something like this. And I'm going to add this the same way I did the other one. I'm just going to, to pat my brush. Because it has white, it's going to cover some of the darker areas, but I don't want to cover everything. I want to leave, I want to leave some of the darkness in there. And the top ones. And I'm going to do the same for the purple. I'm going to pick up some purple and add some white, just a lighter version of the purple, not too, too light. And I'm going to add this to the purple ones. And I'm dabbing and leaving some of what I've previously done. I'm going to cover here the bottom ones. I'm gonna, going to add mainly the light on the upper half. I'm 
adding some white to that grayish purplish color that I did for the white flowers. I'm going to do the same for them. While all of this dries, now I'm going to pick up some purple and I'm going to add some shadows at the bottom, just the shadows the flowers are casting on the ground. Just a loose effect. I'm going to add some shadow in, in here that is casted by the leaves and flowers. And I'm going to pick up some of floating medium. And I'm going to add some purple and black. Just at the toe. I want the colors only at the toe. And I'm going to add a bit of shadows in here. Just to give the painting more volume, make it more interesting. Gives the effect that the flowers have dimension and weight and a bit around this one too. And I'm going to add the same floating underneath this flower. going to use a very small filbert brush and I'm going to pick up some of the lighter purple and white at the toe of my brush and I'm going to add the effect of the smaller flowers just by dabbing my brush creating the effect of the small flowers I'm keeping it very loose. I'm not trying to create every every flower, but just the effect of that there are some little flowers in there. And mainly I'm doing this at the top where the light is hitting the flower and if some are lighter than ours that's okay I did a review of these brushes this is from the Montmartre set I'm going to link the review on the description down below in case you're interested I don't want to overdo it I think the best thing is to stand back and look at it and I think that gives me the effect I'm looking for. I'm going to do the same with the other purple flowers. And I'm going to do the same for the pink ones. I'm going to pick the medium pink that I mix for my second coat and some white. And I'm going to create the effect of little flowers. And I can always go back with the dark if I want to give more um, dimension to the flower. Let's do the white ones. For the white lilacs, I only have white. I'm 
just dabbing some loosely and some I go on fours, one, two, three, four kind of thing. And others I just dab loosely. And I don't want to cover everything that I've done. I only want to add just some highlight. And again, stand back and see where your flower is. So not, not to overdo it. And I'm going to finish the pink one at the top. I'm doing exactly the same. You can also add pure white to some of the other flowers. Very sparingly. Once you're happy with your lilacs, with the end of my brush, I'm going to pick up yellow. And I'm going to dab a few centers of the flowers. This makes the flower look more finished. You can actually see the little flowers. Makes it look like we did more work than what we actually did. But again, don't, don't overdo it. Do a little, stand back and look at it. And I'm going to do the same with the other ones. This is just the illusion of the center of the flower. And I'm going to finish all of them like this. At this point, you can assess your painting and decide if you're happy with it or if you want to add something else. I'm happy with the painting, but I think I want to add more leaves. I think a flora looks very pretty with lots of leaves. So I'm going to add a couple here and I'm going to draw them with a chalk. And if I don't like them, then I don't have to do them. I think a couple of leaves would look nice there. And maybe another one in here. And maybe in here. So I'm going to go ahead and add four more leaves the same way I did the other leaves. some smaller, just a few smaller leaves picking. Okay, my friends, our pretty basket with lilacs is done. The last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to splatter a little bit of purple or pink around the flowers just to give it more of a loose painterly effect but before I do that with a dry brush I'm going to sweep all the chalk marks that I don't need anymore I have to make sure the paint is dry before I do this okay my friends 
the painting is done. I decided to add a couple more leaves. I also splatter some of the paint that I use for the lilacs just to give it a more painterly look. I'm going to show you close up. Please let me know if you would like a review on the Canson acrylic paper. I hope you enjoy this tutorial as much as I enjoy doing this painting. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like, comment below. I always look forward to your amazing comments. Share with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.